Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I have wanted to talk to you for a long time. What took you so long? For a long I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think you're a busy man, yeah. is the problem. Welcome back to the Ed Sullivan Theater. I know you came here many times with yeah. Dave. Dave yeah. But also, this theater meant something to you as a child because I understand you watched the Ed Sullivan show. That's right. A lot when you were a kid. Were there any. I mean, I, re I remember from when I, when I was a child. Are there any performances that really stood out to the you? The Beatles. Like oh, the Beatles. Yeah, when the Beatles came, that was the biggest. Wow. And uh, I actually didn't like the Ed Sullivan show because I knew I had to go to bed afterwards. So <laughs> I would hope that I know it was. That feeling. You know that, that feeling? Night, that yeah, Sunday Bonanza, Ed Sullivan, Bonanza. Was the, was the homework done? That's it. Well, then he had to go to bed. That's it. Do you, you know, uh, you know the girls that scream up there? That's they sat right up there. Those people back there. That's where the, the scream girls screamed up there. You mean for the Beatles or for the Beatles and for you? Oh. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. I think of you as one man Beatle. Thank you. Now, <laughs> But, but more, more importantly, even than uh, you, that's important enough. Just being the one man Beatles. Being the one man Beatles. I well, I understand you actually not only met Nelson Mandela, but that you hosted him in your home. He came to the house. When was that? And how was that? And it why was, was that? It was so. It was amazing. Um, he, 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 he was quite a charmer. He, he, we, we went to South Africa, uh, my wife and I, and I got it. I had breakfast with Archbishop Desmond Tutu and lunch with Nelson Mandela. So he, he meets me and my wife, and he immediately says to her, oh, I see why he's the success that he has because of you. Everything was about because of her. And she's just like... <laughs> And of course, I'm like. He's an operator. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, okay, you know, I know you did a few things, Nelson, but you know. <laughs> no, no. But um, so, yeah, right. Yeah. You imagine he was working that Nobel. He was Peace working Prize that Sloan. Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> exactly. So I forgot how it it, it, it happened, but it, it, he was coming to America and he was coming to California and he came to our house. So what, did you make dinner for him? I didn't. No, I would have. I would have. Sure, sure. But, but you know, he was just. He was like your grandfather that came by, and we had some of the most powerful people in the world that, that came by the house, and there was a great shot of everybody just leaning in, listening to him, telling wow. stories. What year, what year was this? Uh, I think it was 2001-ish. Now, you've also hosted Oprah at your house, right? She was there that day. Oh, she was there that yeah, day? She was there oh, okay. That day. Wow. It's... it's Stallone it's rare that in. Oprah's not the biggest person in the room. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you had oh people my God. like that. I, sit down, Oprah. Uh, yeah. He's talking. That's yes. right. <laughs> wow, that's really wow. Wow, what's it take for Stephen Colbert to get an invitation to dinner at Denzel Washington's? I got to do gotta something. Talk, first of all, you got to talk to the, the one who's in charge, which is my wife. And, but as far as I'm concerned, What's your wife's name? Pauletta. Pauletta? <laughs> Pauletta, I have excellent manners. <laughs> I know which fork to use. I promise. I'll clean up after myself. <laughs> she she made f uh, uh, fried chicken for Michael Jackson once. Oh really? Michael Jackson came home. He could eat. <laughs> I was surprised. I was like, he danced it off. He, he danced it off. No, but he 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 did well. Now, um, you are um, a a two-time Oscar winner. Um, uh, that's we're in. A, We're talking, we're, we're in Meryl Streep territory here, okay? You've been well, called... she's got like 75 nominations. No, I think it's only like 112. two or something like that. I think it's only two, yeah. But yeah. she's only one twice. I think it's only one two. I think you've been called the Black Streep. Have I? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, she's, or she's the white Denzel. I'm the not white sure Washington. Which one. The white Washington. Now, I don't mind the Black Streep. In the past year, past year and a half, there have been... Um, uh, uh, a big year for African Americans in Hollywood. Writing, directing, starring, uh, 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 Get Out, uh, Black Panther. Uh, but I understand from Chadwick Boseman himself that you, in some way, are actually responsible for him being Black Panther. Am I? Yeah. Well, he said. Oh, you because I, I paid for him to go to school. That, that okay, that's it. What? How yeah. did that? Why did you? How did no, that I, come I, about? I, 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 I like it. Oh yeah, because I paid for Chadwick Boseman <laughs> to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we call that burying the lead. What? What? So, how did that come about? Why uh, did you pay for him to go to school, and how did you know him? I didn't know him. Uh, Felicia uh, Richard. I, I, I'm going I'm to screw this story up, but Felicia Richard was was helping kids, and she called different people, and she yeah. called me, and I said, "Yeah, I'll sponsor whoever." And she said, "Well, you're sponsoring." Or, or he called to thank me. That's how I found out it was him. Mm -hmm. You're sponsoring this kid, some yeah. Chasmic 
yep. old guy. And I yep. said, yeah, okay, Chad. I want my money back. <laughs> so when I went to the, I went to the, no, she was I went to the trail, I went to the trailer. I went to the uh, premiere for Black Panther here in New York. And I saw Ryan Coogler and, and, and Chad. And he said, oh, you know, I just wanted to thank you for paying. I said, yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here to see that. I'm not here. I, I like the movie, I'm Black Panther. Yeah, I'm good. Wet. Wakanda forever, but <laughs> where's my money? <laughs> um, you, don't, you haven't done a superhero movie yet, right? No. Why not? Nobody asked me. Do we want him to do it? What would I do? We want to see people. Want I'll be to see, the father of the superhero. We want to see you in tights, man. No, so, no, come on. No, I saw the mighty Quinn. There's still we want I didn't to see have tights on. Didn't I? Well, you have little shorts. You have little white Did shorts I? on. Yeah, don't you remember? No. I'll tell you who remembers. One of my producers every day does hunk of the day, and and uh -oh, and I uh -oh. swear to God, this was a recent one of hers. And this is a great honor. I know you've got Oscars. I know you've got a Tony, but you have officially been the hunk uh, of the day. you have officially been the hunk of the day in our office. There you are. <laughs> Push in a little bit more. Push in a little bit more if you can. Look at that. Boom. Look at the stash. Look at the pecs. It's the same picture. Come on. I, what? I, I just want to thank all the other hunks that <laughs> weren't as good as me. It's, yes. it's who you know and yes. hunk on. And mm -hmm. It's an honor just to be hunky. <laughs> I guess that, would yeah. that make me a hunky? <laughs> no. No. No, it is not. <laughs> Though, I tell you, you've got such range, I'm sure. Well, I'm my sure son is starring in a, my son is starring in a new movie called Black Klansman. Oh, that's an amazing yeah, yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't so wait for that. Maybe I'll star in Black Hunky. <laughs> I'd watch that. Now, uh, the, you got the new movie, Equalizer 2. Yes. It's the sequel? Yes. Twice as equal this time. Yes. Now, what is left to equalize after the first equalization? There, there's absolutely nothing left after this. I, okay. I get rid of everyone. All right. <laughs> this is the first sequel you've ever done. Yes. Why not, why not most better blues? Why didn't you do... <laughs> <laughs> most, Malcolm 11. Malcolm 11. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Glory some more. Glory some, <laughs> glory some more glory. So, so uh, we got a clip here. Who is your character and what is he doing? Uh, I have no idea and, and enjoy it. Great. I'm gonna see it. It's a normal day. It's an ordinary day. The Equalizer 2 is in theaters this Friday. Denzel Washington, everybody.